Good morning, folks. What you here with an update on my long distance desert range group or whatever vehicle? <laughs> the command vehicle. Uh, damn. Uh, I'm uh, a little frustrated of late. Uh, I've got several things on order to continue projects and so on and so forth, and it just doesn't seem. Uh, that the mailman is cooperating with me. I'm waiting for uh, the British SAS Jeep uh, to complete the diorama. Uh, we've been working on this, and we've been working on the uh, blah, 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 the SU-100. And, of course, the Sackville has been held in the base because I'm waiting for stuff, and uh, I'll be some glad when the postman does pay me a visit. So, uh, without further ado, before we go uh, take a trip on the twirly whirly here, let's focus in on some of the objects of significance that we can see here. And uh, we'll go from there. Do, 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 do. Okay, as you can see, uh, the radio uh, has been tucked in and it's been weathered and so on and so forth. And uh, we have a headset uh, over here and we can just barely see a wire uh, that connects up to the radio set. And uh, the... Uh, the kit piece was very, very fragile, so it broke, so I had to basically scratch build it, and uh, it is what it is. And uh, doing a little bit of turning around, we can see here the accumulation of uh, desert uh, dust and so on throughout the vehicle, and uh, it's that's all over the place. And uh, we're going to zoom out to, uh, to focus in on uh, some of uh, the accoutrements here. Okay, there we have it. Uh, we have our roll of, uh, of wire here that is just uh, hanging there for the time being. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Uh, we have the tarp that was uh, done up out of tissue paper, and it was dry brushed with uh, Naples Yellow. And uh, then, it, once again, it was dry brushed, okay, with uh, to make it look like uh, oil stains. Okay, and uh, there uh, we have it. Nice wrinkly and all that good stuff. I, I think it looks like a tarp. and. Uh, Never attempted this before. It's basically tissue paper and uh, painted uh, desert yellow, and then uh, we went from there. Our uh, our old drums are all there. We have our water and fuel cans, okay, that have been uh, in use, and we have our flimsies. Uh, the guns have not been installed here uh, yet. Uh, they are were done separately and for good reason. But uh, before uh, we continue on with the discussion of the individual parts, uh, let's. Uh, let her have a trip on the twirly whirly here and uh, see what we have. As we can see, we can now see all the dust that has accumulated in the uh, nooks and cranny. Uh, the weathering is not completed. Uh, as we see on the left hand side there, we have the tarp that is installed. We're going to leave it there for now. Uh, once again, uh, we have our oil stains, and although they look quite. Uh, uh, how do you call that? Uh, not as in your face, okay? Uh, um, with uh, uh, as it is on camera, um, it is what it is. Uh, these two stanchions here, okay, are the two posts that are going to lift this up. And basically, what's going to happen is that uh, this will wind up uh, being about uh, like that, okay, about a four foot entrance, okay, and about an eight foot entrance or so from the top of the gate. And it's just a place for the, the the crew to have some shade and all that good stuff. And that's going to be in a diorama. Uh, this is going to get glued down, as you can see, down at the base of the diorama. Uh, this is entirely be hidden. So all we're going to see is about uh, that much of posts from the paintbrush up, okay, up to the top. And we'll have our guy wires and all that good stuff. Uh, something else that was added that is not part of the kit, but uh, pictures that I've seen is, is we got a tow rope over here that uh, is around the bumper, and uh, we are going to do that. All the decals have been installed and so on and so forth, and uh, they still require to be weathered, but uh, that is uh, where we're at uh, with her. And uh, as things go on, uh, <clears throat> we'll progress a little further. And uh, we can, uh, we're going to pause here <clears throat> when she comes around at, uh, no, nope, let's do it now. And we'll remove our coil of wire and we'll drop the tailgate down. Okay, and uh, as we can see, we've got one side is water, one side is uh, gasoline. And uh, we have a crate in the back. We've got our tire and all that good stuff. we got a big duffel bag there. 
Uh, originally on the box art, they got the gunner uh, gunning and all that good stuff. But in a relaxed position, this is the way you would find a gun. Okay, and of course, there would be a muzzle cover on that. So that hasn't been done yet. And uh, so we'll put this back in uh, where it goes. And we'll do one more trip there and bring her up to the front. Okay, and from the side on view, that's what it would be look like. And as we see coming around the front there, there's the anti-aircraft gun that uh, will fit into that, uh, that mount, but it's just done and it's normally just stowed. And uh, that is that uh, for uh, the trip on the, the Twirly Whirly. Uh, the figures have uh, all been painted, and we're going to have a look at those. <clears throat> and uh, there we have them. And uh, let's see if we can't uh, move up on that. Do -do, wrong direction. Do -do -do. Whoops. And let's zoom in and see what we can come up with. I guess that's about as good as it's going to get. So uh, what we have, this is the gunner that uh, will not be used. And uh, front and center, we have uh, the individual that is uh, pointing away and so on and so forth. And uh, he is all done up. I absolutely love these hair abs. And uh, not one of them, uh, their skin tone uh, is... Uh, all different. So this is the Arab that uh, is pointing the way. And this, of course, is more than likely the commander because he's reading the map. And I uh, absolutely love the way he turned out. Of course, these are going to have to be weathered in place uh, once I get the, the rest. Okay, so these are basically done for the time being. Uh, this is the guy uh, that is uh, digging... Uh, to relieve um, uh, him and him, uh, these two dudes here, and we'll put the other dude in there in the picture, uh, they're getting ready to install the, uh, the track there for, for traction and all that good stuff, and this dude uh, is all done up, and let's see if we can get a little bit of focus, a little bit of better focus on that individual here. Uh, he looks quite funky in person. Oops. That's about all we're going to get. Uh, the guy that is, uh, is digging, uh, the vehicle out still needs a second coat of buff, okay, for, on his shirt and all that. Uh, quite the challenge. The, uh, the arms are in two pieces and all that, and to get that done up, and, uh, after a second coat, uh, this dude will be done, and this is the guy that's holding his track. And uh, the rifle sling was made out of uh, 50 thou, uh, 15 thou uh, lead uh, wire. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, I just use a, a little aluminum roller, okay, on a piece of glass and to flatten it out. And it uh, absolutely looks the part that uh, seems in scale to me anyways. And uh, there's our individual. And that's uh, the update. So they're basically done. There's some few weathering touches that are that are still required on the figures, but they're basically done. Uh, the f majority of the weathering will take place after the diorama has been built. And I have the other vehicles, so we're going to try to match them. And uh, there's a uh, there's our vehicle. And let's see if we can zoom in on that uh, that radio. I know it's in the dark, but. Uh, Relatively simple, and there we go. It looks like a radio set that has been utilized. There we go. Okay. Enjoyable build. We went to get our lickety split, and like B says, a beautiful kit. And uh, highly recommend to anybody uh, that wants to do that. And since we're zoomed in, let's uh, drop this down below there. And, uh, whoops, the wrong way. The wheels have are nicely weathered, and it's that rear right one that's going to be bogged down in the sand. And let's see if we can't. Uh, there we go, right there. Okay, so absolutely pleased. And of course, the entire vehicle is going to receive a, a Naples. Uh, uh, it's going to receive a dusting. Okay, we're not quite sure how we're going about that yet. 
there we see the flimsies and if we go this way teep, nope, the other way and go up one no we gotta go down And there we have our, our old drums all uh, dirty and grungy and wetted up and so on and so forth. And there's the tarp. If we stand that up on end against the drum here, uh, and we'll zoom out there one, we can see the, uh, the wear and tear on uh, the old cloth itself, okay, with the, the various uh, colors. And the same thing happens with the vehicle on the tarp side. Let's see what we can come up with there. Okay, I absolutely love the way this turned out. If that is my update, folks. I have been busy. This is all kind of uh, little fiddly stuff that uh, you do a lot of work and uh, very little to show for it. So uh, thanks for watching, folks. Without further ado, Switcher uh, signing off.